Hello everyone and welcome to this two-parter episode covering how to do level traveling. If you have ever used a player start actor, you may have noticed a little player start tag in the details box. Well, in this episode, I'm going to show you how to use that and use that how to travel between levels and dictate which player start actor you actually begin at. So in this episode, we're going to set up the transition actor to allow the player to transition between levels and choose which player start they begin at. But let's just jump straight in. So in my game here, I have this level set up and I have a player character who can run around the environment night sort of character. Um, and we're going to set up the transition door uh, actor. And the transition door is going to be the portal, basically, that the player goes through to get him to the level. So let's go create a blueprint class actor and we call this transition. And let's open this up. And in here, we're going to add a box collision. This is going to be determining whenever the player has crossed in. The box collision, I'm going to change its extents here. I'm going to leave the X alone, but Y I'm going to set to, uh, let's say, 250. Now let's do 150. And Z set to 250. And obviously, these can be changed per instance as well, which will. But I'm just going to raise that above the root there so and hit compile so that's the door and essentially the way it works is we're going to call an open level node and we'll go through it so on the event graph on actor begin overlap we want to compare the other actor here to the player character now we will need to cast it here because we will be using it later on for another use so this will cast a third person character and then from there we're going to do open level by object reference. This node exists in uh, 426 and up. So if you have this appear, great, use it. Otherwise, you have to type in the name of the level by hand. Uh, but the process is exactly the same, it's just typing the name. So once you've got this, you can take the level here, which is a drop down for whichever level you want to load up. Uh, you can take this pin out and you're going to promote that to a variable. Then we also want to put in a string. Now the string is going to be used to determine which player start actor that we start the player at when we load up a level. So in the variables here, destination tag, we'll call it, and that will be a string value. Now when you call open level, you can send some options along with it. So if you expand open the show advanced options here, you see the option string appear. And this is where we can set some uh, some information and some query information over and it will load up the new level with that information. So if I take the destination tag here and plop that onto that, do it. Now I'm going to set the level and destination tag here to both be editable. So I can change it per file and save it. Let's drag one of these into our world. I'm going to put one right up the top of these stairs here. Here. Frame. Now that would do us just fine and uh, good sizing, I think, as well. Uh, so, what we would also do here is I'm going to have a player start here. So, when I return back to this, I know it belongs to here. So, let's drag in a player start just outside this door and make sure it's facing the right way, which I think. Yep, it's facing the right way. So, Let's name some things in here. So this transition, we click on, we're going to choose which level it's going to go to. I'm going to make it go to module example one. And that'll load up there. And the destination tag, I can leave blank because this one is only going to have one player start in it. I can leave it blank and it'll just choose one at random. And if there's only one to choose from, it'll choose that one. On this one though, on this player start, we're going to give this the tag here. And this tag, we're going to call lobby side. And this would move first to our lobby level, which is this, and the side entrance, which is this. Lobby side. And then I'm going to add another transition door. And let's put this one. Uh let's put it. Let's put it here. Okay. So I'm going to put another transition door here. There. I'm going to scale up a little bit so the box is filling the whole space. So I'll just take the box here let's increase the y it covers that hole the player can't sneak around it 
and then I can choose what level it's going to go on. This one's going to go to module example two. Destination tag again. I'm going to leave blank because it's only going to have one destination. You need to drag in a player start here, and we'll call this one lobby, and we call this one entrance. Okay, so that'll do there. We have got this player start here. This one is uh, an empty one that's set to none. That's the one that came in with this level. Okay, so we've got these transitions now. Let's uh, push uh, play. See if they open up the new levels. Okay. This one down here. Should be able to level. We have, see, so we have to set the player start to the correct point there. So let's go to the correct point here. Let's go and load up those levels. So go to the scenes and go to mod one. Now this one was for the lobby side, remember? So on here, we're gonna put in another transition and play a start. Put in our transition here. Again, make it fill up the whole space here, box. It. Okay. And set the level here to our level map, lobby there. Yeah. The destination is going to be the tag that we're using. So lobby underscore side. And in here we want a player start so it don't spawn us in the middle of the air like it just did. Spawn us at this point here. Okay. I'll do for this one. I'm going to hit save and then we're going to go back to the other uh, map. That one, module example two. And in here, I'm going to put one down the bottom. Position there. Make it face the right way. So, and again, a player start as well. Round. On the transition, select it. Oh, choose the lobby, and then here be lobby for entrance. So again, the name of the player tag, player start tag that you wanted. Okay, that'll do there. Save. If we go back to our lobby scene, test that out. We should now transport over to the other world correctly. We won't be able to come back exactly how we want it yet. Back to that moment. But there you go, you can go to that level. And this one should take us back, but not necessarily at the right player start. I just pick one at random. Crash. So what we need to do is set that to uh, find the correct point. And the way we're gonna do that is through the game mode. So you load up your game mode. And on here, you have an event. And the event is called handle starting new player. So you go to functions and click on override. You'll find the option to override the handle starting new player. Click on this. And then from there, we're going to use the node find player. So ask for the player, which is going to come from this. And the incoming name is the option string. And the option string is that option that comes across from the open level get sent to the game mode here it is however the option string does come in with a little caveat it comes with a query icon which is basically a question mark at the start so if you put in like lobby lobby side it'll be question mark lobby side so what we need to do is take away that question mark so what you can do is going to do simply get substring and you're going to start the index of the substring at one and the length of this is going to be the length of the string minus one and all that's doing is basically knocking off the first uh, character from that string in other words getting getting rid of that question mark and this will be the length in so it'll get the string take a start from the first index which is the uh, second one in basically so the question mark will be not counted and it'll go until it's reached the end of its length length is minus one because Obviously, we're not taking account the first slot. 
So once that's done, you put that return value into the find player start, and this will search for a player start with the matching incoming name. We're then going to call restart player and plug that in and set the new player target. Sorry, not new player. Not restart player start. Sorry, it is restart player start. Restart player at player. And the start spot is comes from there. New player comes from here and there. So this gets called at the start of the match. Uh, start of the map, sorry. And that will search for a player start that matches this option string that we're sending across on the open level. Uh, it's then going to restart the player at the correct player start. Okay. File and save that. Now, one thing you will find that this it works perfectly okay. However, it doesn't work that nicely in plain editor mode. You need to be playing it and testing it standalone. So it'll work when you publish it and it's standalone. It's totally okay. But for testing purposes, you will also need to test it. Do that. Too long. And you can now test this out. So character. Go into the other map and win. Take us to this map here. And now this one will take us back, which should take us back to our lobby entrance. Came from. Yeah. Let's found the correct player start for us in. Here, we'll take us to the other one. So, and going back, back to the same spot. There you go so now your level will search for the correct player start by using the player start tag and that brings us to the end of the first part in this part we set out to do a transition actor and we made our player be able to go through it and transition to a new level taking with it the option string to enable which player start they begin at the next level in the next episode we're going to add some flashy effects to us such as a camera fade camera cut and some animations so if you want to watch that next part right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where you can watch all my videos early before everyone else from just $1 a month. Thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. Thanks again for watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.